Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can do a mail merge using Gmail and Google Drive. I did a video on this a few years ago, but since then the process has been updated and I've had a number of requests to update my tutorials on it. So here it is. This is how you can do a mail merge in Google Drive and Gmail. What you're going to use is a plugin called Yet Another Mail Merge. You can find it here in the Chrome store as you can see on my computer screen, but I'm going to show you an easier way later on in the video how you can find this add-on when you need it. In order to create a mail merge using Gmail and Google Drive, we have to have a spreadsheet and we have to have a draft email. So let's take a look at what our spreadsheet should look like. I actually already have one created here in Google Drive. Uh, if I didn't, I would obviously just go to Google Drive, hit the create button and create a spreadsheet but I've already created one and what you want to do is you want to make sure that the column headers for each column that's not going to be included in the mail merge that's the type of data that's going to be included within the column then the actual data that you're going to use in your mail merge will be the next rows in the list so you can see that we have email address first name city you could put as many columns as you want keep in mind that you do want column a to be email address because in order to find the email addresses to send out the mail merge we need to have column a contain all of the email addresses for all the users that we want to receive this email but then after column a you can create any type of data that you want so you can see in my mail merge i'm going to include the first name in the city of my two recipients now the caveat to this program is that you can only send 100 emails per day using yet another mail merge. If you're a big company and you're looking to send thousands of emails a day, you probably want to look at subscribing to a third party newsletter service or something that can handle the type of traffic that you're looking for. But if you're a small to medium sized company or you're just using this for your personal use, this is great. Uh, 100 emails per day and you have a lot of flexibility with what you can do with it. Now that we have our spreadsheet created and all of the information in here that we want to use, we're going to head over to Gmail and we just need to compose a new draft. When we create our new draft, we're not going to put anything in the to field because the mail merge is going to do that for us. We can create the subject however we want. So we could do how are you and then if we wanted to include some data from our mail merge, we want to use the less than sign two times and then the name of the column header so I'm going to put first name and then the greater than sign two times to finish it off. So we could use that syntax to include any type of information that we have in our mail merge spreadsheet. Now I actually already have created a draft email to use so I'm going to close this one out and I'm going to open up another draft email so you can see what it looks like. So here's the one I'm going to use and you can see I have first name in here twice and then I also have the city in here. So once you have your draft completed you just want to make sure that your draft is saved and my Gmail saves automatically so I know it's saved. I'm going to close that out. I'm actually going to delete the other draft I just created so I don't get confused. So we'll discard that draft and now we're going to go back to our spreadsheet and we're going to go to add-ons. You can see that in my list I have yet another mail merge because I've already added this to my account. However, if this is the first time you're using it, you're going to click on Get Add-ons. And then just go ahead and search for yet another mail merge. And it should be the only one that pops up. And you'll have the option to add this add-on to your Google Drive account. You will have to give it access to some of your information. So make sure you take a look at that pop-up. But once you grant it access, you can then use it in your spreadsheet. Uh, as you can see, I've already added mine, so I'm just going to close this out. Now, if I wanted to delete it at some point in the future, I could click Manage right here, and I could click Remove. But for right now, I'm just going to close this out. Once you have it added into your Google Drive account, you can click on Add-ons, and then select the Yet Another Mail Merge add-on. Now, you'll notice that when we hover over Yet Another Mail Merge, we have a few different options available to us. The first one is Start Mail Merge, which is what we're going to do when we're actually ready to send out the emails. But notice that we could also import contacts from a group within our Google Contacts. So if you have all the email recipients which you want to send this mail merge to in your Google contacts, you could import them without having to enter them manually. We could also check our remaining quota to see how many emails we have left to send out today. So if I click on that, you'll notice that it works for a second down there at the bottom and that I have 99 emails that I can send from this app today. So that's great. Let's go ahead and run the mail merge. So I'm going to click on add-ons, hover over yet another mail merge, and I'm going to click start mail merge. When I do that, a window pops up on my screen that allows me to choose the draft email that I want to use, and I only have one. That's the one that uh, I just showed you, so that's the one I'm going to use. The sender name is Anson, and we can go ahead and just hit send emails. We have the email addresses in here, and then we have the data that we want to include in our mail merge. So we can just click the blue send emails button. So for this account right here, I should receive an email to Alexander, and the city mentioned in the email should be Tampa. Let's go ahead and take a look. 
So it's been sent. I'm going to go back to my email account, go into the inbox. You can see I have a new email right up here at the top. It says, how are you, Alexander? Just want to check and see how everything is going for you in Tampa, which is the city we had listed in our mail merge. So I hope you all found this video helpful. Again, it was an update to my older video that I did a couple of years ago on using the yet another mail merge script for Google Docs at that point. Uh, this is how to use the yet another mail merge plugin for Google Drive. If you found the video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, remember to to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.